how do you change this graph from side by side view to a vertical horizontal view in Matterlib? So what I want to do is I want to place this graph at the top and this one at the bottom. So how do you do that? It's very easy because in your code, when you create subplots, so this is how you create subplots. You use the plot module over here, and then you call the subplots function and you give it a row and columns. So in this instance, you can see the way the graph has been set out over here is this is the first column. This is the second column. So it puts them side by side. But what you can do is you can tweak this and say that you actually want two rows and one column. So this grid layout over here, so if I were to run this, you can see what is as done is put the first plot over here and the second plot over here. Now, the weird part that you can see over here is that the heading is crushed. It's too tight together and you cannot really see the axis label and the title. So they are overlapping each other. So how do you solve this issue? Well, it's very easy. So what you can do is you can add this line over here to add spacing. So here, tight layout. And remember, this is using your PRT module over here. And all we are calling is this function, which is height layout. So by doing tight layout, and if I were to run this, you can see that now my graphs are not overlapping each other and we can read the axes over here and they are much more organized. So how does this function actually work? What this function actually does is it will automatically figure out the text size, the graph location, and how big the graph is, and so on, and where into the end, where into the begin. It will work all that out, and then it will place the next graph further down from that point. So just by calling this function over here, tight layout on the plot module, so plot module is there, just by calling that, you are essentially getting the function to do a lot of work for you. So you don't have to figure out how big of a spacing you need. Just use tight underscore layout and you will be sorted. So that's one of the advantages with matplotlib, a lot of functionality that is very complex to code has actually been built in for you. Then you end up with nice looking results like this with no issues. So remember, you can change if you wanted a column layout, then uh, what you can do is change that to one and say you wanted two columns and then you'll end up with this layout over here as well. So it's very easy to change the layout. You just select the rows and the columns over here.